Lisa Manda from PB here. I'm with Lisa Stone, a roof Atkin, at the Refecto Seal Colour Custom Workshop today. So today we've been learning all about how you can customise the colours of your brows to match your client's hair colour, which is really exciting, something a bit different for the beauty industry. Um, could you guys just give us a little bit of a talk about what the workshop is, what it involves, and what people can expect to, the outcomes from it, basically? Sure. It's really about giving confidence to the beauty therapist and all of the colours that are available now. So I think we're, we're so used to using black and brown, aren't we, on our brows? Uh, but Reflect Still has got a real kind of variety of colours where you can add tone, different shades. You can lift colour rather than just putting colour because it's always been dark, dark, mm. dark. Now you can go light, 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 add a little bit of colour, leave it alone, it's up to you. You know, It's about giving that confidence and giving that information. It's just a short course, um, it's a workshop more than anything. Mm. And obviously, like you said, in college you sort of learnt the colours of brown and black for brow tinting. What are some of the more unusual colours that you can learn on this course and even some of the effects you can do as well? You can create reds and chestnuts and warm tones for autumn, summer, um, cool a colour down, warm a colour up mm. and just kind of really harmonise brow and hair colour together. It's really bespoke in the colour for your client at the end of the day. Um, if you imagine all of the colours that you might have had on your hair throughout your life and then look at what colours you've had on your brows, you know, you've had black or brown. Mm. It's, it's, there's nothing, there's, in the past there's been no graphite, no reds, no violets, no pastels, no mm. ombre. So it's really about bringing those skills up to date with what's happening in the salon and what's happening on mm. catwalk. And I think, you know, in the past we'd just use one shade of brown. If you've got mm. 15 customers all booked in, in a day for brow tinting, why use one shade of brown for 15 clients when mm. you've got lots of different tones that you can work with, which is what Refecto Seal is going to give. Yeah, I think it's really exciting because everything's about personalisation now. And there's so much development in brows, especially in terms of the shapes and the styles. And I mean, we've just had brow lamination kind of blow up in the industry as well. Mm -hmm. So I think custom colour is a really good natural next step to just making it more of a bespoke experience. Um, we were talking a little bit earlier because there is actually a bleach in the range and right. obviously for some therapists using a brow bleach is like oh, a really scary so scared. thing. Yeah. Um, yeah. It'd be great if you could talk a little bit about why the bleach is in the range and why it's not scary to use it basically. The, ble the bleach for me, or the blonde brow as it's called, really opens up all of the... Um, the resistance that's, that's out there. So if you want to go really dark, you wouldn't even think about taking the colour out first before adding it. But you can do all of these things. So it's really about stripping back the colour to your blank canvas to then add on whatever shade or tone that you want. So it just makes the colours look more vibrant. Yeah, so a red will look more definitely. vibrant, a chestnut would look more vibrant and just stand out a lot more if you can, like we've yeah. said, have a blank canvas to start. And also if you've got somebody like an older client with wiry hair or if you've got a true red hair, their, their hair's quite mm, resistant mm. to colour. So by even just pre-bleaching it, it's going to give the, t the tone of the tint something to hang on to because obviously it's all open and it's ready mm. to be absorbed. So it just, you've got so much more scope mm. with colour if you can take a little bit of colour And just maybe out. if you just wanted to be a bit more of a natural blonde and your brows are naturally quite dark, mm. you can just, it will look more realistic if you can just yeah. take a little bit of colour out. Yeah. Tone totally it with you. It just kind of, and again, it's nothing to be scared of. It's going to give you that sun-kissed look, that summer look that the sun naturally takes mm. out of your colour yeah. during mm. the summer. And just in terms of brow trends for next year, is there anything that you've seen that you think is going to be big or are there any kind of looks that you think are going to fall out of favour? I think the big fluffy brow is still going to be quite Definitely. dominant for next year. Mm. Less brows. geometric, less sharp, less neat, if that mm. makes sense. Yeah. Just and unruly. And yeah. Unruly, and a maintained yeah. unruliness, I would <laughs> yeah. say, to the brow. <laughs> Organised <laughs> chaos brows, I think, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> and also, um, you mentioned a little bit earlier as well about peppered brows on men. Is that an effect that you can create with these colours if somebody did want that? If the guy was kind of going a bit silver? and you want to match that up a bit with his brows, is that something you can achieve? Absolutely, yeah. yeah, yeah. There's a lot you can achieve, and also the, the ombre brow, that's something else that you can achieve by either mixing different shades or using different processing times. I think another thing that we need to kind of um, express upon is that when, when we brow tint, and we've been brow tinting in the salon for donkey's years by putting colour on, checking it, taking mm. it off, and building up that sort of, that's the way we've kind of done it. But really to give 
the browser its full potential, you really need to be leaving that tint on for, for a full process, yeah. 15, 20 minutes, but don't be scared of it. The light brown, for example, will go no darker than light brown. So mm. give it its time, it'll give you that longevity. Just making sure you're using the right colour. Mm -hmm. And the, the graphite is a fabulous colour if you're working on a guy that is going a little bit you know, mm. lighter with his hair, a little bit more grey, but wants a bit of definition to mm. his brow. Definitely. And silverizing it as mm. well. You can do mm. all of that with the different shades. And of course, they do the, the cream peroxide and liquid peroxide. So you've got all the nice little bits and pieces mm. to go with. It makes our job a lot easier as a therapist. And obviously, microblading is like a really big thing. It's mm -hmm. still big yeah. brow trend, still really popular. If a client's had their brows microbladed, can they still have this treatment? And I guess, would it be different for them each time they went in as the pigments fade with the microblading? Yeah, you can change the color, but what the tint will do is it will just enhance the microblading. As long as they've left the appropriate amount of healing time after mm. their treatment, you know, their microblade pigment might be slightly darker than what their hair color is, so we can kind of freshen that up with the tint. So mm. absolutely, they work well together. And even when you've had a, a, like a tattoo or a nano blade, micro blade, whatever you've had, that pigment might be quite dark to begin with, but the natural hair might be lighter. So mm. it can, you, if you go out in the sun, it can fade your own natural hair. So that hair over the top of your tattoo will dampen.